So welcome to the adventures of WeChat. Some stories to tell. So I had a friend who was like, you know, do you have WeChat? And I'm like, no. He says, popular in China and you know, met a lot of guys. You should try it out. So I'm like, okay, fine. Like, who knows last time I went on a date. <laughs> like, I'm really not savvy or up on a lot of the apps that are going on. So I heard of like Snapchat and a little bit of WeChat and like Tinder and like all these sites, whatever that people use to, you know, chat with other people. So I was like, all right. Sure, I'll try it out. So I downloaded it. When I first downloaded it, we were in Myeongdong. You, you have to like log in, like it's like, oh, who's nearby? So the first time I downloaded it in Myeongdong, we started chatting with some really cool people, like really cool guys. One was like a hip hop producer. Another one, the guy was a fashion designer in Italy for Christian Dior. He showed me the designs from it and he was like a fan of Kenny G. And then another guy owned a fashion store in Dongdaemun. It was just amazing <laughs> in that area of Myeongdong. But I don't live in Myeongdong. I live not far away. So I was like, okay, you know, this isn't bad. Like I was working and helping on my Korean, like typing because they text me in Korean. So let's say some weeks go by or like a week or so and I like log in to my area that I live in. <sighs> Not good at all. Maybe it's just there's a whole bunch of creepers around like Hongdae, <laughs> Sinchon. And it got to the point where I just had to delete it. Let me explain what a typical conversation with one of the guys supposedly in my area went. Hi. Uh, um, near, uh, somewhere in Seoul, somewhere. Uh, Do I live alone? No, I live with friends. I'm not telling him where I live. Uh, can I come over? Um, where? Oh, I want to see how a foreigner lives. Um, I live in Korea. I live the same way you do. Uh, can we sleep together? What? Oh, hell no. Delete. So basically, that is my whole conversation with like 50, I don't want to say 50, but like 10 guys is always, where do you live? Do you live alone? Can I come over your house? Can we get, can we get together? But it got to the point where like one day I was laying in the bed and someone texted me at like 12 o'clock in the morning and the person said, the guy said, let's go shopping. And I'm like, what? He said, like, now, let's go shopping right now. It was 12 a.m. in the morning. And I said, it is 12 a.m. right now. I'm like, okay, yes, there's places in Seoul. You can go to Zonzi Moon Night Market, fine. But I don't know this man from anybody. So I'm like, no, I'm a young woman. Why would you ask me that? He was like, oh, well, we'll go tomorrow. I'm like, did you, did, did I say I was going to go tomorrow? Like, where are you getting this from? And then he's just bombarding me with all these questions. So I'm just, I, I just had to block him. And it was to the point where if you don't like message someone like right then, like they're like, hi. And they're like, hello. Are you here there? Why aren't you asking me? And it was just to the point where I got so many requests for to sleep together that I deleted it. After that, after that 12 a.m. thing, I said, I am done. I cannot continue with this with these apps. So actually the friend that told me about the site, she you know met a few guys, whatever, at a coffee shop. So one time she was like, okay, if he brings his friend, you know, I'll, I'll like, please come because I don't want to be there by myself. I'm like, okay, so I go. The guy is okay, a bit boring. And the guy that they actually were talking, like didn't speak any English. So we were kind of doing conversations in Korean and English, but he was just like so just balled up. But his friend was talking more. But the original guy was just giving off such creeper vibes. And then he was telling me, well, you need to, you need to speak with the Korean. You need to learn. I will teach you. you we're going to study together. I'm like, where are you getting this information from? And I'm like, listen, he's like, you're paying too much for school. You need to just learn with the Korean by yourself. I'm like, dude, you don't even know me. You, you creepers that come from WeChat. Like, the issue that has happened was, which I'm gonna tie like like going out on dates in Korea that I find strange. It's one thing that it seems, at least the ones I've been on dates with and my friends have, 
don't, won't pay for the first meal or they won't pay for the coffee. So when we met up with the guys at the coffee shop, you know, I'm just sitting there and they're like, oh, well, we're going to be right back. I thought they were going to go get a coffee. They had just got there. You know, coffee's like three, four dollars. I come back and they're like, oh, okay, you going to get something? And I look like, oh, you're not even going to just at least ask if I'm thirsty or any, like just being a gentleman, you ask, hey, would you like something? I'm not saying you have to like ball and be a baller and pay for all this stuff. But I went out with guy friends, guy that I'm a friend, that I'm friends with a filmmaker. We went and ate, blah, blah, blah. He goes to pay and I just automatically put my money out like here. Like, fine, we can go two and two. He's like, no. He's like, no, I got it. He's like, you'll get next time. You got it next time. I'm like, cool, thank you. That's how you do it. You at least offer. Now, I knew he probably want to pay for it, but let me at least offer. That's what you do. You know, at least the first time you meet a, a young woman, you offer a coffee or if, if a guy, if he puts out his money, I'm all, if I can see he's putting toward that effort, I'm going to put out my money and suggest, you hey, I'll help with it. It's no problem. I don't expect for a guy to pay all that stuff, but it seems that they don't uh, like to pay for the first couple of meals and a friend actually said she spoke to a Korean friend and apparently it's because it's like oh well, they don't know you well then hell why you want to date me why, why are we out here then <laughs> and we getting to know each other but it's the thing about being a gentleman and just taking the first step to say hey let me get you a coffee now I ain't asking for no steak you well, this kind of situation is with WeChat and then just dating in another country, things are just different. So the adventures of WeChat, apparently if I do, we do get WeChat again, I need to be Justin and Myeongdong because that's where the good guys are really. And with those kind of sites, even for WeChat, I use like a kind of a kind of different name. Like if you knew me, you could probably figure out that it was me and I use kind of a picture like far away, my face turning because I am like on the internet. I do have a social media presence. So I don't want people all up in my bed it's like, oh yeah, I saw April on Tinder. She on WeChat. Yeah. Like, it's it's kind of hard when you want to do like private stuff and you don't want people to really be like you know why her, i know she's on there but you know everyone has a free thing you do your tinder thing you do your wechat thing but i can't deal with the do you live alone i want to see how a foreigner lives let's sleep together no i'll come to you okay <laughs> i'll call you if i need you so you guys tell me about your experience with dating sites and if you prefer them or not. Don't forget to subscribe and like this and share. Peace out.